Greetings, Dr. Byron C. Phillips, MBA, your tennis pro, your professor, your life coach, and your executive coach. The topic for this video is delegating without disconnecting. Why is delegation without disconnecting such a vital and difficult and complex skill? Why is it so rare to find managers who understand delegation and are not perceived as pushing work off on others. Many managers struggle with effective delegation. In fact, most do. Two glaring examples of failed delegation are being perceived as passing the buck for a task that really the manager should assume. And second, not allowing enough stewardship by micromanaging and not building in responsibility and accountability to the person that you hand the job off to. When delegating, the delegator still has the ultimate responsibility and accountability. Trust becomes the linchpin of excellent delegation. We must learn to accept the solution of the delegatee, even when we don't totally agree with his or her recommendations and findings. Novak and Bishop in How Leaders Learn reminded me that we need and want leaders to delegate, but not be perceived as being disconnected. That's the tricky part, especially from the fundamental work of the business and the people who make it happen. Da'aja, recommended asking the delegatee to spend a little time to analyze the task that he or she is going to do and give them the opportunity to come back and ask clarifying questions and that gives us an opportunity to set the expectations.